Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So in this recording, I'm going to explain what I live streamed on day one. Unfortunately, that video is removed from YouTube. So I'm just re-recording it so that those who are following this Salesforce Learning Bootcamp, so they can just uh, know like what I explained in the day one. So I just covered introduction to Salesforce, how we can set up developer org so that we can do all hands-on and uh, how we can do a lightning experience navigation. So before starting, this is me. So as uh, you are going to learn Salesforce through this bootcamp, so you need to know with whom you are interacting. So uh, these are the details which are related to me. And uh, at the bottom, you can see all the certifications that I have done so far. Then these are some virtual learning best practices that you need to follow. So uh, though this video is just uh, recording, all, all other videos will be live stream. Uh, some are already done and some will be uh, happening in the future. So it is six months long bootcamp. So you just need to uh, give proper focus on live sessions, take proper notes, write down doubts and you can ask them in Q and A part of the session. Uh, don't miss any session because most of the topics are connected. And uh, I just created a practice sheet as well, where I just give day-wise questions. Those you can practice. These are some scenarios through that you can learn Salesforce easily. And uh, during practice time, if you find any doubt, so you can ask them in comment section of YouTube video. And uh, uh, keep doing above every day so that you can build strong foundation for a successful career in Salesforce ecosystem. And please subscribe, follow, and share this information with others so that they can also uh, get benefited with this bootcamp. So let's discuss about introduction to Salesforce. So Salesforce is the world's most popular CRM system. Many companies and customers rely on this dynamic web-based low-cost CRM platform. It was founded in March 1999 by Mark Benioff. Salesforce unites business businesses, marketing, sales, commerce, service, and IT teams from anywhere with Customer 360, one integrated CRM platform that powers entire suite of connected apps. So what does it mean? So if you have a business, so in business, we have different streams like marketing, sales, commerce, service, IT, et cetera. So Salesforce basically provides you solution for all the streams. So Salesforce is having different clouds for uh, solving different problems. So they have marketing cloud, they have sales cloud, they have commerce cloud, they have service cloud. So that's why they are saying like they provide customer 360 uh, solution and um, that is available on one uh, integrated CRM platform. So that's why C uh, Salesforce CRM is more popular uh, as compared to other CRMs. Now, what is CRM? So CRM basically stands for Customer Relationship Management. Broadly defined, CRM is a strategy for managing a company's interactions with clients and sales prospects and ensuring the connect sustained throughout the relation. So basically through CRM, uh, you can maintain interaction with clients and sales prospects. So you can maintain all the data related to your business with the help of this CRM. So what are Salesforce CRM benefits? So basically it helps businesses manage their customer interaction and sales processes. Known for customer centric approach. So uh, all the processes, those are available in Salesforce CRM. They are uh, majorly focused on customer. Uh, provides tools for managing customer data, tracking sales, automating marketing, customer services tasks, and analyzing business performance. Cloud-based, so can be accessed from anywhere with an internet connection. It is highly customizable and can be integrated with one, with other systems and applications, right? So it is important. You can integrate Salesforce with other systems easily and uh, you can import data, you can export data. So this way uh, with one uh, CRM, you can integrate other applications as well. Then it provides industry specific solutions to help various sectors like education, healthcare, communication, nonprofit, financial services, et cetera. So now after having brief information about Salesforce, 
Now let's understand what all products are available with Salesforce. So here with this diagram, you can see these are the products which are owned by Salesforce, right? Now, if you want to see these product details, so what you can do, you can just visit salesforce.com and on that website, you will find details of all the products. So you just need to click on products and here you will see the list of products. So for example, if you want to know about sales cloud, so just click on products, click on sales, and here you will see all the details related to sales cloud. So if you want to know the features, you can click here. It will give you the details about the features of sales cloud. <clears throat> so here all the features are listed. You can just go and open them one by one. If you want to know the pricing of sales cloud, just click on pricing. Here you can see four different editions are available, essential, professional, enterprise, and unlimited. So you can just go and check the prices and you can check the features, which edition will uh, give what features. So this way you can explore it, right? So I just gave you one example of sales cloud, but if you want to explore other, so those, are, those options are also available here. Now, if you want to know about Salesforce for industries, so these are various industries, those are being targeted by Salesforce. Right. So if you want to know information about those, so here we have a link for industries and all industries are listed here. If you click, so you will be having more information about that particular industry. Right. So this way you have to explore uh, these options so that you, you know how powerful Salesforce CRM is and which specific industry Salesforce is targeting with their CRM system. Now, next is you need to know how we can set up developer org because in each and every session, I will be doing some demonstrations and uh, whatever practice exercise I will give you so that you will be implementing with this developer org. So it is very simple. You just need to go and type developer.salesforce.com and at top right corner, you will see browse trials. So just click on it. And if you scroll down, so here you will see this button, sign up the Salesforce developer edition. And here you just need to fill the details. So if you fill all these details and click on this checkbox and sign me up, so you will receive an email. And uh, through that email, you can just set up your password and you will be landing on Salesforce. All. So <clears throat> after uh, creating account uh, as uh, Salesforce org, so uh, Salesforce org will be created and uh, you will be seeing this uh, front end, uh, which will be as application and you will see this back end, which will be as setup. So by default, you will end up on setup. How this, this will um, like how setup will look like. And if you go back, so this is your front end, which will be the application. So let me show you how you can navigate around. So if I go here, so right now you can see we are on setup. So this is basically known as back end where we will be doing all the implementation. Maybe it is related to configuration or customization. And if you see here, this is app launcher. If you click here, select view all. So here all pre-existing, pre-installed applications are available. So we have service, marketing, community, sales. These are four major applications which are available here. So if you right click and open it in new tab, so you will see the front end of Salesforce. Right. So in upcoming sessions, like uh, as I already told you, this is a recording of day one session. So other sessions are already available in the playlist. So if you watch those sessions, so you will get to know like what all are these and how we can use this front end and back end in detail. Right. So first of all, you need to create developer edition org account uh, through this domain developer.salesforce.com. And then you will see both back end and front end. So you can just play around. Then Salesforce provides you two versions. One is classic and one is lightning experience. So right now you are seeing lightning experience where you can see everything is divided into different components, right? If I go to this accounts tab and open any account information. So here also see, you can see things are divided into components. We have different tabs where different information will be available. 
but classic is uh, having different ui so first of all we need to know like how we can go to classic so you just need to click on top right corner and here you will find this option switch to salesforce classic so just select this option and this is the ui of salesforce sorry salesforce classic right and here we have app launcher where all the apps are available and if you click on any tab open any record so this way you will see all the information on single page so it is page centric application or page centric uh, format but if you switch to classic back here is the option so classic is basically component based okay so this is the difference between classic and lightning so you might be thinking which we need to prefer so you will be preferring lightning experience classic is outdated and uh, all the application that is being developed for clients so those are being developed in lightning experience only then we have two types of navigation one is standard and one is console so right now here you can see we have standard navigation in which you can just open one tab at a time so right now i can see account information if i go to contacts open any contact so i can see contact information only account information is disappeared automatically so this is basically standard navigation you can focus on one tab at a time but we have console navigation as well which is known as sales console so i am just opening it in new tab so in upcoming videos you will see like how we can create sale standard and uh, console navigation as well but here i want to show you like how it will look like so here one contact is open now if i am going to accounts and open any account so you can see both are opened in different tabs so when i open account so contact is not closed it is also opened and any time i can switch between so this is basically console navigation whatever record you open it will be opened forever until you close that particular tab right so this is the difference between standard and console navigation so console navigation is more useful as compared to standard navigation and uh, which one to use it will be decided by the customer for which you are working uh, as a consultant then you need to know company information and licensing so for that you need to go to setup and here you can search for company information where you will see org details that you will be creating so i already told you by filling this form you will be creating an org and after creation of org you can just go to company information and there you will find all the details along with licensing information which is important so here you can see we have uh, salesforce licenses too in my org i created two users so one will be created when you will be filling this form and another you can create manually right <clears throat> and uh, how to manage and create users so after reviewing all this company information what you can do you can just search for users and from here you will get this button new user and here you can fill the information and your new user will be created you just need to know like from here you will be selecting salesforce as a license so in my org it is not available right now because i already created two active salesforce license user but in your case when you will be creating new org so you will be having additional one more uh, license available so that you can pick from this list and profile you can pick uh, any one as per your choice initially later on when we will be discussing about sharing and security so we will be um understanding what profile is and you will get to know which to choose okay so this this was this is like brief video because i am just re-recording it again i am saying because uh, video uh, like day one stream streaming unfortunately it is uh, not available now so i'm just re-recording what i just uh, explained in day one so that those who are uh, new and they are going to follow this bootcamp from the beginning so that they know what happened in the day one right so most important part is to create developer edition org and uh, then you can follow from day two because actual implementation we started from day two session right so this is all about day one that i uh, explained i hope 
this will make sense. And if you have any doubt, any questions, so you can just ask in the comment section of this video, I will answer. Thank you and keep following this bootcamp. It, it is uh, six months long and uh, there are several sheets uh, that I shared with uh, folks. So uh, those sheet links will be available in the description of this video. So you can go through that. Thank you.